Yo, what's going on, everybody? Love a different type of video today. We're going to go into what shill bidding is, how you can look for it onto eBay. And I mean, you got to really go into it with an open mind onto this stuff because if you don't, you could end up like just making the wrong assumption onto it. So we're going to hit up onto some things onto eBay onto it. I'll show you guys what I know. And. Hopefully you guys can use it down the road and make your own determination, like when you're trying to price a card or, you know, like, why is this card here, you know, X amount of dollars compared to the next one, you kind of have an idea why. Um, sometimes things are just bid up and it's by people's friends. So what I want to do, there we go. This is what they consider the book definition of shill bidding. It's when a seller uses a separate account, be it of their own, a friend or family member, or they ask someone to bid on their auction to artificially raise the price of the auction. In the case, in this case, the bids were placed, then retracted once uh, they had reached a, a maximum bid level. So I'm going to show you some stuff you guys probably haven't seen before. Maybe you have. If you have, hey, somebody was uh, squaring you away with some good information. I'll tell you that right off the bat. Alrighty here. So let's pull up this here. Alright, I'm gonna go back a page or two here. Alright, you guys can see this isn't a problem. Very high feedback, all that stuff across the board onto here. Blue Capital Silver sold for eighty six hundred dollars, alright? The Probstein that went off right around this time only sold for 8000 Makes you wonder, Probstein sold for less than this? Well, let, let's take a look at it. So what you want to do is when you pull up the sold screen onto here, you see where it says 47 bids, there's a hyperlink, click it. Okay, there we go. Now when you come down here, some people will set their auctions all to private list and you can't see nothing on it. To me, that's fishy. I will not get into bidding war with anything like that so that's the first thing so what you want to do is you want to look through here and you'll see these little number codes here they're all if like this nine 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 that's the same person you can tell by the feedback too all right so you start looking at it and you're like huh all right you know they're bidding it up a little bit here and there might be legit i mean they're only doing 50 dollar increments but the where i want to show you that's right here Bid was around four thousand. This dude came in at forty-two fifty. Many bids five. Or I'm sorry, yeah, somebody else had a high bid on. You just see him going the whole way up here to sixty-five hundred dollars. Big increase there, really is. Now, granted, Luca does sell for a lot. What you want to do is come over here where his little name thing is supposed to be at. Now you're not going to know the real name. Click on this. Dude has 100% positive feedback. 26 total bids. Items he's bidding on, 8. 30% of it's with the seller. All right. Interesting, you know. You can look at it. It tells you if he's ever done any bid retractions and stuff like that there. And that's usually a good sign of uh, shield bidding going on. Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, I put the wrong price in. Yeah, okay. You can tell when people do that. If somebody does do that and retract your bid, what I do is I block you. You are never getting any of my auctions again because you bid some amount. And what you're trying to do is to retract your bid because you now know what the high end is on it. And you're going to try to get it for a lower price. Because once you see retract somebody's high bid, it goes down to the next high. So it can go way down. I've seen it. All right, let me go here. Probs name. We will find some fun here. Now, where are you at, my friend? I was looking at this earlier. This one here, I think it is. Check this out. 377 feedback, 100% positive. Well, you really can't leave negative on sellers, but buyers can. All right, check this out. Look at the total amount of bids. Look at that percentage with the seller. 50%. Yeah, you could say he might like Probstein a whole lot. There's where it gets tricky. Eight bid retractions, 72 over the last 12 months. 
Now, if you're a seller, you're going to see this way ahead of time. This is the type of people I block because you're retracting way too many bids, all right? And all you guys know how to get through. If you don't know how to uh, block somebody from your list, just type in block buyer list eBay, and it'll pull up instructions, clicky links, and all that stuff to go through. But this is what I want to show you guys. Because to me, this starts raising my flag. This dude is shill bidding this stuff up. It could be his own. It could be his buddies. He's like, man, I'm getting worried. It's not up to where I need to be at. So pay attention on to stuff like this here because this is where it starts drawing red flags out, especially for me. I don't know if it would draw red flags for you. I mean, please let me know in the comments section like always because I like seeing different aspects of people's comments out there and stuff because maybe I'm seeing it completely wrong. You know, and I know other people do the same thing that I'm doing here. And, you know, we just don't bid on PWCC and Probstein auctions. There's a lot of us like that, you know. And that's just for the fact that we know what goes on there. We all know about the famous scandals and stuff that have gone out there with, um, oh, wrong fake BGS slabs to the card trimming, uh, what they call it, uh, I can't remember, there was a name for it a while back. I always called it the card trimming saga, but somebody else called it something else a while back. It was kind of flashy. But if you didn't know this, this is just a way you could really look into it because if you're really going to get into, like, making a hobby and try to, you know, maximize your money and what you're buying on, you, it, with some of the bigger cards, you're going to see this. Or it could be somebody else has the same card. It's going off an hour or two later. And he's bidding it up because he wants his card to go up over that same amount, you know, and stuff like that there. But this here to me draws a huge red flag because of the bid retractions in the last 12 months. As you can see from the other guy, he didn't have any. Was he shill bidding? Maybe. But it just it's just funny because when you start seeing the percentage with the seller, you're like, okay, maybe he really likes them. And a lot of times, don't get me wrong, that if it's a breaker... You're going to see somebody who has a high percentage with that breaker because they like the breaker. They want to get in those eBay breaks with them. So that percentage is going to be high. Because um, you're never going to know fully what all they get into uh, because you're not going to be able to see their exact feedbacks off of their real profile. Now, there is somebody out there that was really, really just a while back, and they were able to tell who that person was, and I was amazed by how they were doing it. I can't figure it out, nor can I find the forum post that was on that. Because if I could, I would definitely share it with everybody out there. So, I, I really wanted to keep this kind of short today. And I didn't want to really be too much of a tutorial. Uh, as much as I wanted to be something to show everybody. Because we all hear the word shill bidding. Some people have an idea what it means. Some don't. If you're buying on eBay, on these auctions, that's probably right it right. Now, Grant, there's a lot of great consignment places out there. Um, DC Sports is a firm believer that if he catches you shill bidding on one of your things, gone. He will pull your items, send you all your stuff back. So you want consignments that are like that there. Um, there's nothing wrong that it, you know you put something out there and your buddy's bidding on because he wants to get into it. Nothing wrong with it, but uh, the intent is to basically get you more money and to boost that price up there, that's where you hit into shill bidding. Because don't get me wrong, there's times that I'll put stuff up for auction and somebody's like, I didn't know you were selling it. I'm like, man, I'm sorry, I had no idea. And he's like, well, I'm going to bid on it. And you know, they might get in a bidding war with somebody out there with it. But that's a totally different case onto it. But where I want to really focus more on are these guys that are out there at the bid retractions. Because... A lot of them are bidding them up, and then they'll withdraw within the last day or last hour, and it jumps that price down, and they'll try to get it for a small amount of money. The other part is to where they're boosting that up there to a certain level to ensure that person is going to get that amount of money or way more. And you'll see it across the board. It's not because a person's gotten super popular a lot of times. It's just that that's 
what people have been doing. This is something that's been going on for a very, very, very long time. So usually when I start getting into bids and stuff on to stuff, when I do auctions, I tend to look at this stuff. If it's a PC item, I, I probably won't even get in a bidding war with anybody on to because it just always turns out bad. And I end up paying way more than what the card's worth, in my own opinion, or off of recent sales. And if there's been none, you know, I've guessed to make the price. But, yeah, this is just something you guys can look at. It's a nice tool and a feature onto eBay. And like I said, this here would draw me as a big flag onto on this one here. But other than that, if you guys have any kind of uh, thing, anything that I missed, leave it in the comments section. Uh, I just get a lot of, uh, what do you call it, um... Questions on the shield bidding a lot, and normally it's more like over the phone. So I get to always explain to people over the phone. And I know there's a lot of people who don't have my phone number, don't call me. And what I want to do is be able to share that wealth of knowledge out there with everybody. The things that I look at when I'm going out hunting, or I want to go auction hunting, or anything eBay, I always look at stuff like this. Normally, I just go into the buy it now if I can't my slabs or know somebody that has it to work a deal out and then i'll start looking you know onto ebay for it itself and i usually look for buy it now best offers or something that's going to be expiring soon but this here is a classic example of where you start looking at stuff and try to figure out is it shield bidding like i said come in it with an open mind because not always is it shield bidding but something like this here yeah i'm pretty sure that they pump the price up there all right everybody like I said, feel free to leave any comments you want down below, and I will hit talk to you all in the next video. Take care.